so guys hello hello as you can see here i'm finishing up the chicken livers you can see there it's got a nice color to it we've added some soup powder just for um, a nice thick gravy a little bit of a consistency because i am going to prepare putu to go with these chicken livers and um, mainly 
this video is for my Asian students you know um, they are not aware of Putu millimil so yeah as you can see I'm adding the soup powder to it just to give it a nice gravy with a little bit of mixing here and there to thicken it up and boy oh boy doesn't that look good that looks so yummy mm -mm -mm. well guys keep on watching because I will be making a little bit of pop to go with this delicious delicious chicken lovers
Y'all guys, so we add a little bit of margarine, not for color, <laughs> but kind of for the flavor of it. Well, that's how I enjoy it. Um, everybody's different, you know. You can make pop, you can add some onion powder, garlic powder, I think it is. Uh, I know some people add some sweet corn to it, you know, um, some mixed veg. I have made it that way before, but because we are eating chicken livers, I think that's good. So here we have the mukbang. Please enjoy. Take care. Yeah. So, YouTube fam, Miss J right here. I got some plak curry, which is that one right there. I got some roti. My Japanese students, if you don't know what roti is, this is a roti. Very thin, kind of looks like a pancake. Goes with curries. I got some chicken livers and putu. I know I always speak about putu to you guys, and I never actually get to show you, but this is putu. Um, and then I got a carrot salad. So I'll incorporate more pics into the video. Please don't shoot me. This is my first mukbang. I'm learning. And yeah, if you like what you see, hit that like button, subscribe, and share my video. So you can be notified the next time I upload a video. Let's start eating. Right, so. The roti. Plak curry is going on the roti. I like to smash my potatoes up a little bit. You know? It's not that hard, it's just, you know, smashing it in your hand. It's the same. Um, some plak. So plak is actually part of the sheep. I don't know what part it is, but bam, it is delicious. So guys, like, this is my first mukbang, as I mentioned. Please, 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 please feel free to drop, you know, some hints, what you like to see, what you don't want to see, um, topics that you'd like to discuss. So that's what it that's what it looks like right there. Um, yeah. We like to clean that up as we go. So I'm going to fold this roti out. And let's see how we do. This can be very messy because of all the gravy in it. But yeah, let's see how we do. So the salad, the salad is the spot, I'm telling you. Carrot salad does wonders. And it's just your basic carrot salad. A red onion, grated carrots, and some dania, better known as coriander. Um, salt, pepper, vinegar, a little bit of orange juice. A chili, chili would have done wonders. Mm.
Mm -hmm. My roti is falling apart, y'all. <laughs> I suck at eating with my hands, forgive me. I tend to make more mess than anything else. Like it's so delicious, you know. No offense, I know my Indian people, some of the colored people, huh? Can't touch a pakai. Mm. Delicious. So I'm not done with that. I'm going right back to that one. I don't want to take my putu, you know. I love putu. I'm a big girl. I love food. Not all types of food. Majority of the food. Hi! Small wash down. Right. Another thing. I don't eat with my hands when it comes to eating putu and bunny, yeah, bread, I eat with my hands. But all my meals I eat with the fork. I'm very weird in that sense. So, um, let's see. How am I going to do this? Right, YouTube. Mm. 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 Just right here. Heaven. I know, Tanya. Coriander. Um. Just gives the food a flavor, especially fresh coriander. But by the way, this is fresh coriander, it's from the yard. My grandmother planted it, you know. So, yeah, good to eat homegrown. Mm. So, yeah, like I said, it's my first mukbang. Um, I'm learning, you know, I'm willing to still learn more, obviously, be taught. So, any hints, any suggestions, you know, most welcome. Don't be shy. Just hit us a stop. Yeah, chicken livers. I must say, Nando's chicken lovers. Now that's the issue. But you know, we all have our preferences as to how we like stuff. I should probably tell you guys about myself. So, I'm from South Africa. I'm sure the accent gives it away. So I don't give know me guys. I'm sure you can live read, but, but yeah. So my fan was like, you know, distracting me, pulling the curtain, 
since this was my first mukbang, mm -hmm. you know, they were excited, so, yeah. they were, really, they wanted to check it out, but yeah, back to the video. Talking a lot of nonsense. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I am from South Africa, um, a single mom of three. Um, I'm a freelancer, so I work at Native Camp teaching Asian students. Native Camp in the building, did you clear? <laughs> Can hype myself up. But um, yeah, so you know, any of my Asian students, konnichiwa. Ni hao, <laughs> This is for you guys as well. Yeah. Again. Can you please stop hanging by the curtain? You like can it's see. Really <laughs> I'm fighting with them. They keep on pulling. You can the look, curtain, but don't pull the curtain because now I keep on looking at the curtain. But yeah. I ain't gonna spoil the show. I shall beg. You should have went by the other curtain and pulled it. So, as I was saying, I'm a single mom of three. I'm an ESL teacher. But I do hold many titles. Oh, I am Scorpio. I represent my sign like I represent my life, yo. Yeah. This is so good. So, I do like spicy food, but I don't make this spicy. I did add chilies to it. Um, you know, um, big bites, big bites. So that's the putu. Putu is very soft. Um, I don't know if it's pap or putu, but you know, to me, putu is putu. Um, only when it's milli milli, it's different. <laughs> so, yeah, on my channel, I'm not gonna do. Like the normal mukbangs, you know, where the craze is about seafood boiled mainly. I will get to that, but that's not my main focus right now. Um, I want to mainly show my Asian students, you know, because um, they're not very familiar with South African cuisine. I want to show them, especially, what South African food is like, because they kind of have this perception that curry is the same, rice is cooked the same, although I do clear it up with most of them, that, you know, we do prepare our meals very differently. Oh, my poor kutu falling off my fork. Can you guys see my highlights and how it's popping? Mm -hmm. I should have warmed it up a little bit more. Um, plucky duck over there. I'm going to have to go back in for him because, you know, plucky got a lot of oil and um, might get a little bit fatty. 
So yeah. Put a little wash down there. So yeah, some people might find eating chicken livers weird. I don't. I actually want to do one with ox liver. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I think I'll eat a whole loaf of bread with that shit. Ox liver is the issue. My grandfather told me about October, you know? So, yeah. I'm gonna stop talking for a bit, you know? And ciao. I hope the next time you'll join me, you'll come with your appetites. You know? I don't like eating at home. Unless it's something I really, really like. Then I ain't shit. <laughs> Hence my unique physique. You know? My sexy size. love to try some of the Asian foods you know I've been watching mukbang for a very long time I enjoy watching Bookie, Hamzy, Bungil um, Miss Mizzy I forget the names, but yeah. Theo, I love him. Um, excuse me. My American <coughs> mukbangers, Zach Choi. Always. He's not American, but you know. Um, he loves life. She's the most famous of them all. Should have cut the chicken a little bit smaller. Love.
Some salad. Mm -hmm. I have a bit of a wash down. Put in a dry, but you know, makes it pleasant dusty. Tea. So, I'm gonna get plucky duck back up here. It's gonna make a special appearance. Excuse me. Um, so, I know um, a lot of Asian mukbangs, and most probably some American mukbangs, people chow. Um, I am sexy as it is, you know, so some days depending on my appetite, maybe I'll like pack and then, you know, some days I won't pack as much. Don't hate me. Cause you ain't me. I still need to keep my unique physique. Mm-hmm. By the way, did I mention my granny made it? Mm. She's 78 years old. And she still knows how to browse those plants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nothing like a home cooked meal. So, yeah. I don't think like the first time maybe you actually saw what it looked like. So. I'm going to try my best <laughs> without letting all the, <clears throat> let's, let's, let's just not be like farmers, but yeah, so that's what it looks like right there. Um, all the juices are falling here, so you know, I need to sort that out. Mm -hmm. Have to suck your fingers. I don't know. It's that good, good. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna try and do this in <clears throat> three bites. I'm gonna try. It's not a big mouth. I know that. I need to go on the marathon after this. You know, it's in my pythons. They are stuff. I'm ready to curl up like a python myself and go doo doo. But unfortunately, <laughs> I've got some lessons to do after this. Huh? Mm -mm -mm. I 
I hope I ate enough. <coughs> no. I tried my best. <laughs> Mm. I was hungry like an hyena. And now. Mm. Good. Very, very good comfort food. Good old water. Some H2. Yes. Yes. So we swallowing that water. But thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this meal with me. Um please, like I say, don't be afraid. Drop some comments in the comment section some suggestions you know um my channel's not only going to be recording the crumbs um i'm just going you know kind of kick it with whatever goes with the flow post what i want um so yeah remember hit the like button Turn on your post notifications and hit that share button. And if you want, you can follow me at YouTube. Because <laughs> this is my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, TikTok. Yeah. So I'm on TikTok. I am on Instagram. And I am on Facebook. I'm on Snapchat, but you know, forgive me. I'm very green, you know. Take a little bit longer than others, and if something just don't interest me, Snapchat is just for the posts. But yeah. So, thank you, YouTube family, for joining me for my very first mukbang. I hope to see you soon. Remember blue hair if you can tell blue hair don't care bye so yeah guys thanks for joining me like i said it was my first mukbang i really really enjoyed it and i hope to see you guys soon